MP. What did you do? I told you how you had to start. Come on, the camera's rolling. You told me how I had to. Oh yes, that's right, that's right. I remember now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I hope you are having a pretty week. This is Reborn Tired Delicious. <laughs> that sounds so really important, isn't it? And this is Reborn Leprechaun Bird. Stars, what important names we have all of a sudden. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to Magic Memory Sunday. We do this every Sunday morning before breakfast. What we do is we lounge about in our pyjamas and remember something nice about the week. Impy, darling, what do you want to remember today? Ah, uh, let me think. Goodness, this is up. Uh, oh, but do we have the story of the four monsters again? I like that one. It was really, really cool. Do we hear that one again? Oh, yes, that was a cool one, wasn't it? Okay, all ready for the magic? Oh, oh yes, but yes, yes, do the magic. All right. <coughs> Magic voices fill the air. Magic memories take us there. Here you are, MP. Some more spaghetti strands ready. Mind and keep them covered with this damp cloth till you're ready to work with them. Come on now. You're slowing down. They'll dry out. Oh, don't pull that face. Oh, I'm sorry, but... They do those in a factory, Impy. But Alfie won't eat those. He prefers mine in a nice fresh tomato sauce I make. And you like them too, don't you? Oh, hey, careful. You're making them too big. Now, mind what you're doing. You promised Mummy you'd help me. You know I'm still not quite right after that bump on the head. Yes, I know. I'll help you, Bert. I will help you, but why do you have to take so long and be so hard? Anything that's worth doing takes a bit of time, Impy. You usually have everything done for you without having to work at all. But when I was a little lep, if we hadn't helped in some way to put our food on the table, well, we didn't eat. Really? Oh, Jenny Stasis! Wow! I wouldn't like that, but I wouldn't like that at all. No, nor did my brothers and sisters. They only made that mistake once. Nobody likes being hungry, Impy. And I know some monsters who made the same mistake and had to learn that same lesson. Monsters? Oh, where? What monsters? Tell me, tell me! Cover up those O's you've made, Impy darling. Then go and pick Alfie up and take him to Mummy. I think he needs changing. Then, when you come back, I'll tell you. Oh, good. He's going to keep him amused so you can tell me the story while I go on making the Skettios. <laughs> you and your Skettios. Bet I can make more than you. Bet you can. We'll see, we'll see. Well, anyway, this story. Once upon a time, there were four monsters who lived together in a house on the edge of a stinky swamp. There was a blobby blue monster, <laughs> a gloopy green monster... <laughs> A big black monster. Oh, oh, I don't like him. And a friendly little pink monster. Ah, I see the nippy the doody. You'll see. The three bigger monsters spent most of their time watching TV, lying in bed, wallowing in the swamp, playing computer games, drinking mud beer, and doing very little else. Ah, oh, this, this is how horrible. That's right, good girl, Impy. Those look much better. Come on about the monsters, never mind me. All right. Well, one particularly lazy day, when the three monsters had been doing even less than usual, the little pink monster came in from outside, where she'd been sweeping the front steps clear of swamp mud. Hey, said the blobby blue monster. Where you been? We're hungry. Go and get us some food. That wasn't very polite. They didn't say please. No, they didn't. But then, monsters seldom do, Impy. The little pink monster looked around. What kind of food would you like? She asked, because, you know, 
She was always kind and liked to please. The blobby blue monster looked at his brothers. Then they all three together said, Stinkweed cake! and gave three big nasty grins. But brothers, said the little pink monster, we have no stinkweed. Then you'll just have to grow some, won't you? said the blobby blue monster. Ain't that garden big enough? said the gloopy green monster. Biff off, said the big black monster. Oh dear, how horrible! Yes it was. Oh, careful, Impy, don't let the dough dry. That's better. So the little pink monster went out into the garden. It was such a mess for all her tidying, or trying to tidy. The beds were all overgrown, and she knew she needed help to grow a good crop of stinkweed. She went back into the house. If I'm to grow stinkweed, I need help to clear the garden, she said. Who will help me? Sorry, bear back, said the blobby blue monster. Spray me ankle, said the gloopy green monster. Biff off, said the big black monster. Very well, I'll have to do it myself, said the little pink monster. And so she did. Poor little monster. She's a nice monster. Yes, Impy, she worked very hard clearing the garden for the stinkweed. Then she walked into town quite a long way, bought some stinkweed seed and brought it all the way home. When she got back, she felt deadly tired. She went into the house to find the other three were eating take-out algae pizza and drinking mud beers. They hadn't saved anything for her. Those nasty monsters! I'll tell them that that there's not going to be any stinkweed cake. I'll just go away, but I bet she didn't. She's a nice monster. (laughs) Will you listen and I'll tell you what happened next? I shall need some help to plant this stinkweed, said the little pink monster. Who will help me? My TV program's just starting, said the blobby blue monster. I'm too full of pizza, said the gloopy green monster. Biff off, said the big black monster. Fine, said the poor little pink monster. I shall have to do it myself. That nasty black monster, he's horrible. All he says is biff off. Is is that all he can say? (laughs) Well, you'll just have to see, won't you, Impy? Now, the poor little pink monster went back outside in the dark and planted out rows and rows of stinkweed seed. When it was all done, she was so tired she fell down just where she was and went to sleep. Oh, the poor little sweet little pink monster. When she woke up, it was a beautiful, steamy, swampy morning. And look, instead of seeds, rows and rows of stinkweed had grown up. The little pink monster clapped her hands. Now I can make a cake and my brothers will be pleased with me, she thought. She looked at the thick stalks and the tough leaves she'd need to cut down to get enough to make a cake. She went into the house and woke her brothers, who were lying asleep, sprawled around the television. Brothers, she said, the stinkweed has grown in the night. You shall soon have cake. But I need someone to help me harvest enough stinkweed to make cake for you. Who will help me? I bet I can guess what at least one of them said. I bet you can, sweetie girl. (sighs) <sighs> it's too early, said the blobby blue monster. Uh, I never work on an empty stomach. Sorry, said the gloopy green monster. And, uh, what's the next bit in peace? <laughs> uh, uh, Biff off, <laughs> <laughs> said the big black monster. Whatever, said the little pink monster. I shall have to do it myself. And so she took a big sickle, that's kind of like a big knife, Impy, and she hacked and hacked at the stalks of stinkweed till she had enough of the big, tough, smelly leaves for a big cake. Then she went inside again, all smelly from the stinkweed, and pounded up the leaves in a big pestle and mortar. You've seen one of those, haven't you? Mummy's got one. Oh, oh yes, I know, I need to do it. Jamie Oberlin's got one too. They're, they're like for bashing things up in. That's right. She pounded all the leaves up into a stinky, gloopy green paste. <laughs> then she took flour, butter, eggs and sugar and made a big cake, mixing in the gloopy green paste. She poured it into a big cake pan and put it in the oven. Oh, yucky, yucky, yucky. I wouldn't like it. Nor would I, Impy. While the cake was baking, the little pink monster went upstairs, had a long bath, put on clean clothes and got herself all tidy. Then she came down, took the cake out and put it on a cooling rack. It looked delicious to monsters. It had risen as high as high, huge, light, fluffy and bright green. 
When it was cool, she cut it in half and filled it with more stinkweed paste <laughs> and lots and lots of soft, creamy, oozy marshmallows, which is the most delicious thing to monsters. Then she put it onto a huge silver dish and carried it next door to where her brothers were watching television. Well, I wouldn't have liked it, but I wouldn't have liked it. Don't this place is never, but I bet those nasty, nasty monster dishes all wanted some, even the nasty black one. Ah, well, now we'll see, won't we? Brothers, said the little pink monster, here is a delicious stinkweed cake all ready. Who will help me eat it? What took you so long? said the blobby blue monster. About time too, said the gloopy green monster. Biff off, it's mine, said the big black monster. Oh, that silly monster! <laughs> he still says Biff off, but... Ah, but it doesn't get him anywhere, Impy. Now, <laughs> you just wait and see. All the monsters with outstretched claws and slavering jaws reached out greedily for the cake. But the little pink monster spread her wings and flew up into the air with it. No, she said, you wouldn't help me to clear the garden, or plant the stinkweed, nor to harvest. I didn't bother asking you to help me bake because I knew it would be a waste of time. So I don't see why I should give you any cake. I'm going to eat it myself. She didn't. She did, Impy. She flew right up to the ceiling and cut a huge slice of cake and ate it. And then she flew away, cake and all, and never lived with those ungrateful monsters again. What are you thinking about, sweetie girl? Um, nothing. Except, well, I, I can't get to Toto Mind in this bird. I'm too little. And, and sometimes they're, they're just too toppling for me to make. Does that mean that I shouldn't get to eat them? Oh, MP. Of course not. You might not help to cook, but you help Mummy and Daddy whenever you can in a hundred little ways. And you help me. And little Alfie too, don't you? Yes, I do try. You'll be able to help more as you get bigger. And if you've helped to make something, you'll enjoy eating it all the more. Now, that's plenty of spaghettios, honey girl. You go and see if Alfie's about ready for lunch, while I get the water boiling and make sure that the sauce is ready. Unless, of course, you'd rather have stinkweed cake for lunch. What? I can always make you one. <laughs> I make a very nice stinkweed cake. Yes, Impy? I just don't want to finish saying that. And what's that? Oh, Impy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what are you like? Stinkweed cake coming up for Lacey Lou. <laughs> You'll see, you'll see. <laughs>